And we're back going through this little webinar, little series on the Frequence Vital Energy Kit, uh, discussing the different energies in our bodies that are governing our consciousness and our physical well being, as well as these exploration of the oils, remembering that we've moved from a seven centered being to a nine chakra centered being, which is huge, really important. And you know, anybody who's still talking about seven chakras is kind of lost in the past, unfortunately. And we need to rectify that and bring people into this awareness of nine centered beingness. Um, I've been able to heal so many different people around the world from so many different diseases by rebalancing the energy body. And so unfortunately our Western world doesn't remember this or we don't have it in our books or it was erased, but you know, all ancient systems, ancient civilizations, indigenous people, the Chinese medical system, the Hind Indian Ayurvedic system, um, African systems, Iranian and Persian systems all talk about our energy body, our auras and our vital energy centers. So when you really reopen yourself up to this world, it's fascinating and it's incredible because of its effectiveness of actually creating change in our physical being, but also in our awareness. So we're moving on here. This is the sixth chakra, which is right here, right in the heart. And it's all about love. This wonderful thing that permeates our life and the human experience, love. Um, so it's a pink energy. It's a very high frequency. This is just a, a complete pleasure to smell so just take a one little drop that's all you need as one drop really uh, surrounds the entire body about 10,000 times every single cell so it's really quite a magical thing that these oils do um, and that's on a physical plane because we have a lot of space and these oils are going right into your body where it needs uh, the support and anything else is just going to go right through your body. So this is why oils are so powerful. And it's the extraction of the essence of the plant that makes the essential oil through an old alchemical way of distillation, um, which actually enhances the frequency and the effectiveness of each plant as it becomes an essential oil. Mm. So enjoying the smell and the aroma, it's one of the most primitive senses that actually informs our brain of so many different things. And it's also really linked to memories. And so opening up the love bottle, which has these incredible oils, it is one of the most expensive because of the quality of oils and, and the sacredness of them, including the rose, um, which is just this incredible essential oil that takes so many different flowers to make one drop. Um, but it's effects of opening you up into the beauty of life, into the beauty of nature, into the beauty of being alive is uh, unparalleled. It's one of the highest frequency oils. And then I also brought Lotus, which is very much symbolic also of, you know, this beautiful flower of awakening that comes from the darkness uh, of the lakes or of the ponds that it grows into. And, and it's very much our evolution from the bottom up into openness of the heart here. And there's this huge energy that is here in the center of this love chakra, the identity in a way, is really processed through this energy center. Our love, our higher love for ourselves, for humanity, for this planet, for animals, for everything is processed there. And also our direction. So 
you know, when we, we feel like we're kind of lost in our direction, this is really the chakra that helps us find that direction. It's almost like a magnet that brings us to and towards loving experiences, which basically helps us meet destiny. So when we open our hearts, we meet destiny. It's quite a beautiful thing. Um, so this is all about the qualities of gratitude, right? Acceptance of love, um, direction, and meeting that innocence within us, that innocence of exploring as we move towards destiny. Um, there's a certain vulnerability. A lot of us are very sheltered there because we've been brokenhearted through relationships and through growing up uh, in families that sometimes are toxic or even if they were full of love, there's different ways that we wanted to be loved, right? And so we've, we've kind of protected our heart and we need to break down these barriers, these, these shells and this armor that we have around the heart and, and become vulnerable to be able to really commune with the other and communicate uh, through this deep, vulnerable, loving way, which brings authenticity and brings real connection and real meaningful uh, communion. Um, obviously, the open-heartedness of this oil is quite fantastic. I used to uh, bring this a lot in uh, New York, where a lot of New Yorkers are kind of closed and you know doing their thing from going to point A to B and and on their track. And even there's just so many people there um, that uh, you know I had this little experiment as they came, and um, I used to put on some love for me to love going out and running. Um, which usually I like to do sports, but just running purely for the running sake is not exactly the most exciting for me. And so I put on some love to just kind of be more in that openness and that loving of running. And what I found is that as I went uh, into the coffee shop to get my coffee after running, uh, when I had the oil, there was this kind of incredible thing that happened where the people um, working at the counter were much more open, were resonant, had remembered what my coffee was, my name, and, and they were very open up to the point where I even like, you know, didn't put it on uh, two or three days later just to see the effects. And I did, I saw that they didn't see me or react to me. So this is really about this opening of this field of energy here that really uh, opens others up as well to your own frequency and your unique uh, energy and it's quite fascinating to see that with this effect of this oil I've seen somebody uh, put this oil on uh, pretty intensely uh, and go into a deep cry for maybe six hours releasing all this trauma around love releasing um, so much fear and so much you know emotions that have been stuck up um, I've seen this oil also bring two people that were about to divorce and, and all of a sudden within two weeks of using it, they figured out their issues and they remarried each other. Um, actually, they had divorced and then they remarried each other because this oil helped them liberate some of the pains that they had together and brought them back into harmony, into their love, into their origins of falling in love with each other. Um, it's a very, very powerful oil. In terms of the uh, gland, it's really playing with the thymus gland, which is also part of our immortality, let's say. As the thymus gets smaller, our life basically expectancy is smaller as well. So as we age, that thymus gland grows smaller and this oil really helps that gland to reopen and to sustain itself as much as possible. So this is a really positive effect of this oil. And it also helps with a lot of the lungs. It helps opening up, um, you know, from any kind of fear. So it also helps with self-confidence. But uh, 
mostly it's it's really just an energetic feeling of openness and of love and of gratitude and of this real deep connection to life and to humanity. Some of the oils on here are jasmine, there's rose, there's lotus, as I mentioned before. Then you have some lemon to add a little bit of sparkle. It also opens up the mind. Um, there's balsam fir, which is the Christmas tree, and it's really this evergreen that stays green throughout the year and, and it really peaks up. And so it helps us get straight and, and be able to open up our hearts and move into that vulnerable space without fear. Uh, it's got some cypress and some ylang ylang again. There's a little bit of coriander, which is quite uh, a fascinating herb, but it really does help with circulation and also with uh, the opening of the heart. Um, there is lemon vervain, or it's a little bit different. The vervain aspects helps us move away from too much of the sensual physical aspect of the experience and moving us into a more energetic loving space um, and blue spruce and manuka which is an old oil that was used in uh, the middle east a lot of oils actually came from the middle east as they came from the alchemists that brought these uh, here and uh, magically france took this practice um, because they really enjoyed the whole aroma and, and became incredible perfumers. Um, and perfume is all about the delicate mix of essential oils mixed in afterwards with other products. Spikenard um, being also uh, Mary's gift to Jesus, which she would massage on his feet. And it brings uh, an alignment, complete alignment from the base chakra all the way to the crown and especially opening and anchoring into the heart. So spikenard is also really uh, a special oil um, that comes from a tree in the Himalayas as well. The mantra for this one is, I am liberated through vulnerability and love. So it's all really about this liberation. And it basically it's one of my favorite oils and uh, I hope you get to experience Frequency number six, very quickly. Very special, very aromatic. A lot of people use this as a perfume. Um, and again, these oils have this uh, particularity of almost personalization because as you put that oil on you, your body is gonna absorb the oils that it needs and then it keeps the other oils a little bit on the surface. And so uh, each person has a bit of a different scent with each of these oils, but love, is one that mixes with ourselves and our own scent and kind of gives off this incredible smell. So a lot of people use this as a, as a perfume and uh, it's a beautiful experience to have and you immediately feel the uplifting qualities of love and frequency number six.